Welcome back guys. So in the previous video we draw some shape files and we were able to edit some data and digitize uh, our base map. So uh, we didn't actually save our MXD so the first thing we will do here right now is to save this MXD by coming here and say save or save as and we are going to go to our ArcGIS mastery course data and we are going to create a new folder here and we will call it edit shapefiles and we are going to open this folder and save our mxd with the name balboa island and we are going to save it so after we saved our mxd we will start to add uh, attribute data to our shapefiles so the way to do that is by coming to the left side here for the table of content and you right click on uh, one of the layers and you will see open attribute table and when you open the attribute table you will see that there is three fields that already uh, auto generated with each shape file you have the FID which is the feature ID and what type of shape it is and just give you an extra uh, field called, called ID that is have zeros in it so in order to add one new field you come to this uh, icon right here and you select add field but the reason it's disabled because when we started our editing session uh, in the previous video we didn't end the editing session the way to edit to to stop the editing session is by coming to the editor and say stop editing and then now we can add the fields so we are going to add three fields to uh, the ports shapefile we will add port number and we will add X and Y fields the way to do this is by coming here again and say add field and say port number and I'll choose the type of it to be short integer because it's just a number and I'll say OK and I'll add another field and I'll call it X and I'll instead of choosing short integer I'll choose double say OK I want another field I'll choose Y again double OK and I will close it we are not gonna edit the data right now we need to add fields for all our shape files because in order to edit the data as you see here I cannot edit the data in order to edit the data I need to open another uh, editing session and uh, but I'm gonna do this after we add all the fields we need so for the street layer I will add two fields one I'll call it street name it's gonna be type text and another field I'll call it length and it's gonna be double Okay, and that's for the street layer. For the houses layer, we will add a field called house num, and we will keep it short integer. Okay, we will add another field. We'll call it area, and it will be double. Say okay. That's for the houses. For the blocks, come here. Open the attribute table. We have only one block, so that will be easy to edit. We will add one field, call it block number. And it's going to be one short integer. Another field, we will call it area. And we make it double. Say OK. So now we added our fields that we need. So for each shape file, you can add field for each type of data you have. Now to start edit this data, we need to come here again and say start editing. And again, you right click here, you open attribute table. Now we can actually say this is uh, port number one, port number two, three, and go on. So you can keep editing the data. To add the X and Y, we don't know what is the X and Y for this specific point. If we, when you move your mouse, on the point you can see on the right side here that it shows you what is the X and Y for the mouse location but in order to add this for all the points at once we need to do something called calculate geometry and calculate geometry it, it will help you in easy create all the X values for this point in your attribute table so it's automatically here say choose um, the property will be X coordinate of point we can use X and Y or Y so here I'm going to choose the X. I'm going to say use the same spatial reference I have right here. 
and show the units in meters I'll say okay and this is the X value for this point same thing for the Y right click calculate geometry Y coordinate and say okay now I have the Y now I close this. So now we are going to edit the street attribute table. But before we do this, I want to do something very quickly. I will remove this base map and I will add another base map because for some reason right now the street uh, world street map is very slow. So I will add another base map. I'll call it open street map. Of course, you can choose any uh, base map you want. So now I have my other uh, base map called OpenStreetMap and it's uh, it's a little bit faster than the world street map so I'm going to use this one. So now we are going to edit our uh, street attribute data and we are going to right click on street and open attribute table and in order to add the street name I need to uh, check which street is that. So in order to do this I need to double click on in here if you double click it will zoom if you only did one click it will highlight it so as you see here when I uh, click here it's highlighted when I double click it will zoom to it so that will help me to see what street name is this it's uh, Abalone Abalone Drive and you do the same for all the other streets So now we finished adding all the street names. The next thing we will do is to calculate the length, like how long or what is the length of each line. Same thing we did with the uh, ports to find the X and Y. We will come here and right click, say calculate geometry. And because this is a uh, lion shape file, uh, ArcGIS or ArcMap uh, recognized that there's different options here. So I can choose the length, I can choose X and Y of the first point, X and Y of the end point or X and Y of the midpoint. So I will choose just the length in meters. You can also choose it to make it meters, miles, kilometers, or feet. Also, okay. And the reason it, it, it only did it for this specific feature because it's selected. So in order to do it for all the features, I need to unselect it and do this again. Calculate geometry, length, okay. Now I have the length for all the streets. The next thing we will do is for the houses, we will open the attribute table and say house number, let's say one, two, three, four, five, six. And same thing for the area, we will calculate the area. And because this is polygon, we will see that it only, it give us the area parameter XY for uh, the center point. So here we are going to choose the area. We're gonna keep it square meter and we will say, okay. Now it shows us how each uh, house, how what is the size of each house uh, in a square uh, meter. Uh, we'll do the same for the blocks. We only have one block. So here we call it block number one. And we're gonna calculate the area. And we will say, okay, and it shows us the area. And always remember that when you do editing, it's you have to save the edits as long as you do the things. So this is one of the advices that if you are doing uh, data entry for a large amount of data, uh, just every few minutes when you add data, just come here, select edit and save editings. Uh, if you didn't do this, sometimes maybe ArcMap uh, stopped working and stopped responding and you might have wasted or losing uh, like uh, hours of uh, data entry. So always keep in mind that when you do editing, every few minutes you come here and say save edits. And then after you finish your editing, you say stop editing. And now we finished uh, adding our attribute data to our shape files. So now we finished our second part of editing our shape file by adding uh, attribute data to our shape files and uh, that's it for this video and uh, if you have any questions if you have any problems achieving one of the things we did here so far uh, please contact me or ask on the facebook group thank you